Happy birthday, Dirty Harry! We are looking back and celebrating some of Clint Eastwood's beautiful and often bullet-riddled body of work. Starting off as the man with no name in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. This 1966 definitive spaghetti western, whose soundtrack is regarded by Classic FM as the most iconic theme of all time, launched Eastwood to superstardom. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, and those who dig. You dig. This cult classic is included in Mr. Showbiz's 100 Best Movies of All Time and considered by Premiere Magazine as one of the most daring movies ever made. Seems just like old times. Up next, as the most popular cop on screen, San Francisco PD's inspector, Dirty Harry Callahan. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. This blockbuster from 1971 was shot when Clint Eastwood was also making his directorial debut with Play Misty for Me. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? And if you look carefully, you can actually see the theater marquee advertising the movie in the background. Up next, the Oscar-winning classic, Unforgiven. I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill. Considered one of the best Western movies ever, this feature won both the best picture and the best director at the 1992 Oscars. We all have it coming, kid. Finally, another Oscar winner, Million Dollar Baby. You're too old. I don't feel that old. Well, neither do I, but you don't see me fighting 21-year-olds, do you? Besides acting and directing, Clint Eastwood is also credited to have scored the music for this hit. Nominated in seven categories, this movie won four Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director in 2004. And that was some of the best of Clint Eastwood on the hot list.